So now that we uh, had Excel do all those calculations for us, then the next thing we want to do is actually to work out the various parts. Oops. Um, so we can calculate our correlation coefficient. So if I just write in here, just for ease of um, reference, I'm going to transfer transfer the answers that we found um, using Excel, and you would do this in your project. Of course, you don't need to use Excel to do this. And my n is 20 because I had 20 sets of data points, and this was one. 123,910 and n was 20 again and n was 20 over here and this was 470 Okay, so that's just, we just found all those using the Excel spreadsheet before. And then it's just a matter of um, putting all these numbers into the, into the various formulas. So not too hard at all. I just drag this down a little bit. Okay. So if we go to the first one. It says take the sum of x and y, so that was this number here, so 1, 2, 3, 9, 1, 0. Divide that by your number of terms, so 20, minus your mean of x multiplied by your mean of y. Okay, and then you can just put that into the calculator, so if we get the calculator up, let's move this so we can see. So we want, if I put that in brackets, 1, 2, 3, 9, 9, 1, 0, divided by 20. Minus, oops, just move that across again, 9.45 times 592.5. So, of course, you're allowed to use a calculator to do these calcu calculations. When I say by hand, I don't uh, mean that you have to do long multiplication by hand or anything. Oops, I forgot the answer. Let's just move this. So 596.37. Oops, pen. Okay, so that's the first part that you need. Uh, now we need to go to here, go to this formula, and we need to put what we know into there and uh, find out the standard deviation of x. I might do this in a different color so it doesn't get confused. So if I say sx equals, and it's the sum of each data point minus the mean squared, which we found out was 470.5, sorry, 0.95, divided by the number of terms, and oops, we take the square root of that. If we go to our calculator, again, let's move this over. So I want 
four seven zero point nine five divided by twenty and then take the square root of that. So the second square of second answer. Enter. So if I do three significant figures I get four point eight five. All right, and then you're going to do a very similar thing with the standard deviation of y. I'll do a different color again. Let's not, before I do that, we'll move this a bit. Okay, so if you want the standard deviation of y, and that was 3, 4, 6, 5, 7, 5 divided by a number of terms, which was 20 micros. Of course, you will have much more data than that. This is just to show how to do it. And then it's just a matter of, again, getting the calculator. Let's move this over this side. And I want, uh, maybe I'll do square root first. Bracket, three, four, six, five, seven, five, divided by 20, close bracket, enter. So I get 131, I might do this to one decimal place, 131.6. Okay. Go. So I want that. So 131.6. And now we just need to put it all together. So if I get one more color, if it lets me, let's do pink. I can say that R is, it was this answer, 596375. All over. Now, very important that you work out the answer before you put this in the calculator of the denominator. So, 4.85 times 131.6. Then get the calculator. Let's move it across again. So, I've got 596.375. Divided by, now make sure you use brackets here, 4.85 times 131.6. And I get 0.934. Oops, pen. Okay. And so that's your correlation coefficient, and that's how you do all the calculations the long way. So you use the spreadsheet to work out all the little small calculations that make up the big um, formula, and then put them all together. So all of this would be done, you know, you type it or you write it in your project, but you can use your spreadsheet to find some of these more complex calculations. All right, hopefully that was some help. Bye.